So due to the injury for Connor Hollenbach, the stopper in there is Wilkerson. Kelly's on that island. He can stay there for no longer than three seconds. Hanging in there and following is Keishawn Jones. Here we go. Ten equalizer. Absolutely, we've seen that a number. I mean, look at one of the best players in this league, Tony Crosby, who's five foot six, and he's had some of the most success because he can utilize the cramps to his favor. During this first quarter, we play five-minute running clock quarters here in Slam Ball. Bell Anderson. Oh my goodness! That entire sequence was absolutely sick. Holmes, the 360 slam off the quick bounce. Right it's here in this first quarter. Holmes. Wait, no, that was. Holmes with the nice dish finds Jones flying through. Bell Anderson. That dude gets up. Hey, Incredible how much more confidence and comfort he has had every single game. Bell Anderson, the 360, the Ivy Leaguer out of Columbia. Oh my gosh! Oh, that is slam ball, baby! Gray off balance and Wilkerson gets the stop. Here's McGee. Oh, slick with it! McBucket showing out in Vegas. Bell Anderson. That dude gets up higher than anyone we've seen. He said it's too easy right now. To go up and down without getting hurt. And something that Pat and I have actually talked about is how unnatural it is. And that was unnatural. My goodness, Brian Bell Anderson. His head was above the backboard. You see, he already has a brace on. And he dishes it off to Kayshawn Jones. Three points for the... Holmes, freestyling. 360! Oh, no, he didn't! Reverse oh, no, 360 didn't. coming in the back door. He's already got two 360 dozens in this game. And a huge stop by Wilkerson. The Griffs with momentum to start the third. But a stop there by Vincent Bowman. The Lumberjack now in its stopper for the Ozone. And Gray sky high for three. Ball mentality kicks in, right? You play hurt, sick, injured, you get a little banged up, put a brace on it, get back out there. And your brain just clicks and you go into this other mode. He's coming in from the side. Here he goes, Holmes throws it down with the windmill. He's a perfect twist. The Griffs, they wanted to be more physical and they've caused more turnovers. That's head coach Jelani Janice putting his fingerprint on this game right now. Soaring high is Kayshawn Jones. Punch the rim, so they count that as a two. Gray, that was an angry dunk right there. Perfect example, right? But, so we're gonna hear from him in the fourth quarter as he ties the game at 47 apiece. There he goes back into the scoring zone. Bell Anderson. That man flying from outer space. That was a perfect example. I don't think he realized how high he was until. Regular season winding down our final week. This game is huge for both teams. Ben Anderson has gone to another level tonight. He now has 24 points. You know, talking to him before the game, he's somebody that realizes he kind of got off to a slow start this season. So he, all he does, all he's thinking about is I have to prove myself and I got to. Aren't playing today, but I love they have a loose balls and rebounds chain. It's like the turnover chain in college football, but it is dope and it is heavy and it goes to the guy that has the most loose, loose ball recoveries every game. Both of these teams come in at two and six. There's a good chance one of these teams will not make the playoffs. This game is huge. As Kayshawn Jones dunks his way to give the Griffs a one point lead. Say ooh, like that was so bad, but it's a, his first miss at the rim all night. <laughs> Kayshawn Jones! Get out of town! Flying in from cross country! A hip check by Juggernaut, but Cotton had already taken off, so a foul. Let's take a look at that last bucket by Jones. Getting up. Kayshawn Jones, 31 points. 
so off the violation because they're in the bonus two points awarded to the ozone Brian Bell Anderson the two for the Griffs the stopper love had his pocket picked by Jones under 130 to play in the ball game juggernaut with the finger roll Cotton, what has he got? Bell Anderson, he's got a 30 piece. 30 points for Brian Bell Anderson. One point lead for the Griffs, one minute to play in the fourth. It's takeoff time. Jordan Grant has a chance to put the game away. One on one against Cotton. Grant, and that is an automatic bucket because Laquavius Cotton entered the Tramps early, so three points for the Griffs. Now that's smart. You put it in the hands of Justin Holmes. He is a perfect 13 for 13 on faceoffs as the Ozone foul again and force another break it, take it. So here's the replay of Cotton entering early. That's the violation. And it sets up our next face-off. Here comes Juggernaut. He's perfect on the season. And let's keep it that way. Unbelievable. 14 for 14. There's the Juggernaut doing what he does best. The two-handed windmill on a face-off. You are not knocking this out of my hands. Down for the dunk. How about the Griffs with the poise down the stretch to put this one away? Both teams came in at two and six. Just one game out of last place. The bottom two teams in the league will not make the playoffs. And the Griffs said, we don't want it to be us. They hold on here in this fourth quarter for a 10-point win over the Ozone. They win it 76-66 as the Griffs move on to the main event and will take on the mob coming up next. Kayshawn Jones led all scores that game with 36 points. You also got to tip your cap to Brian Bell Anderson for the Ozone. He finished with 30 points.